Right now, but don't look at this. This isn't for children to see. Even though DXM trips are too ambiguous for me to give good trip reports for single experiences, there's still quite a bit I haven't talked about related to DXM. One of the most important things I felt the need to share some of my information on are DXM come downs and how bizarre they tend to be for me, sometimes equally as bizarre as the experience itself. So naturally, a few hours after ingesting DXM, the first step is for the liver to metabolize it into a different psychoactive chemical called DXO, which in my experience has been slightly more visual and doesn't have the serotonin increasing antidepressant qualities that DXM has. One thing to understand about DXM is the massive amount of serotonin it releases into your system, and during the come down when most of the DXM is starting to metabolize, you no longer get any serotonin release at all, but there's still occasional visuals and interesting sensations within the body and mind that I would experience. Usually in my experience, when it gets later into the night and the DXM is slowly starting to metabolize, as I try to sleep, it tends to interrupt my sleeping pattern to the point where I wake up after three hours without feeling tired at all. That seems to be the most commonly recurring experience in my trips. Visually, very late parts of the night, a few times there's been this strange moment where visual, especially closed eye hallucinations, will become very intense, and I've seen circular ring hallucinations, and even stuff such as animal skins and machines, and even a dragon face one time. One of the strongest closed eye visual hallucinations I had was of a jungle themed bookshelf with vines growing all over it in ancient text. It's very weird how even though I should be coming down and I am coming down off of certain effects, the visuals can enhance in intensity. As interesting as the DXM come down visuals may seem, I have to mention that I don't recommend anyone do DXM and the visuals aren't always even there or consistent. Usually there's no visuals and visuals will sometimes randomly come in unexpectedly like waves and fade out. Also, there's still plenty of negatives to DXM come downs, though I did already mention it being too difficult to sleep coming off of DXM. For the time I do manage to fall asleep, half the time when I wake up off of a DXM experience, I'll get really bad night sweats. Right on waking, especially after sweating a lot, can usually be the peak of the intense physical anxiety that can happen during a DXM come down. Severe anxiety is the most common physical sensation to report, and it usually comes from the dissociative feeling of DXM wearing off and slowly starting to be aware of how I feel in my own body. Usually that materializes in me being aware of my body warming up in a bizarre and frightening way or my heart sinking into my chest. Sometimes I'll straight up feel like I'm melting during a DXM come down and have a very short dysphoric ego dissolution experience where I can almost feel like I'm in a horror movie for a short moment. I've been able to discipline myself occasionally and realize that even though it feels very much like I'm dying, that I'm not actually dying during some of these come downs. But since I'm usually still fairly slow mentally when there's DXM or DXO remaining in my system, sometimes I can get lost in my anxiety and not be able to differentiate severe anxiety from reality. Lastly, after the initial surge of physical anxiety during a DXM come down, there will be very brief mental flashes that come from a completely different kind of anxiety. While it's difficult to describe accurately, it's something I like to call cognitive anxiety, and I feel like it has to do with the ego returning to its normal state once I get really close to finally being sober. This can often be a very scary form of anxiety because as the brain starts to become more aware, in my experience it begins to attach strongly to a specific moment in time and it can give the illusion of a moment being more scary or more meaningful than it actually is when in reality the anxiety and fear comes purely from the brain resetting itself back to normal. In my experience, DXM come downs and the anxiety during them can be just as bizarre as the DXM experience itself, and it's usually in a very negative way. My come downs were getting really tougher to deal with, and I have no reason to do DXM anymore, as I only see the come downs getting worse the more I do it. I still have plenty of information to share, so DXM videos will not end, especially since it's all I can talk about on this channel at the moment, since I'm comfortable being sober right now. And the show goes on.